All right, again, what I want to do is get in the habit of taking this and duplicating it. Moving it on down. And my shorthand script, I could duplicate that by revealing in Finder and duplicating it. Okay, this last box right here, what I want to do is name this something else. Transform Rotate Delta. And the purpose of this whole exercise and stuff is to start getting you in the means of transforming these into a, a usable name. Getting you acquainted with... Uh, what is needed to keep this very organized and you know just basic scripting 101 so you know don't get hung up on things too too quickly is what i'm trying to tell you you know you should step back and really take the time to learn some of this stuff before you go on to very complex things so there's delta so delta is a little different now it'll start introducing to you what a variable is. If you don't know what a variable is, it's just a, a set number. And there's a variable that's a whole number. Let's, let's say one, two, three, four, five, six. Those are those are integers, okay? And if I wanted a, a float, that would be like 1.1, 2.8. Those are floats. And there's Booleans, which are just uh, on and off, ones and zeros or trues and faults. Okay, so there's several there's several other type of variables. We'll get into those later, but just know this is a basic variable, so we have to say var, and I'm going to label it speed, and it's going to turn orange. Don't be confused by that. There is a speed somewhere in Unity. We're not going to be using it, but sometimes you'll see those orange values pop up, and you're like, oh, I can't use speed because speed's already taken by the engine. That's incorrect. It's an integer. And for right now, I want to set it to 5. And I'm going to use a semicolon. Okay, so now I have this variable called speed. And I always put these up here because these, these variables handle throughout the whole entire script. Uh, if I put it within the function, it only handles within the function. So I, this is a broad variable. It handles, if I had 100 lines of code, it would handle all the way through 100 lines of code or through several functions. Okay, so in here, what I want to do is now define something like, let's say, instead of frame rate, because frame rate's iffy, what if your friend that has a crappy computer plays this game, even though it's a weak game, you know, it's called Rotate the Cube, uh, if they play Rotate the Cube on their machine and it sucks, uh, they're their version of the cube is going to be rotating a lot slower. It's going to lag because it's based on frame rate. Another thing is, let's say a lot of dynamics happen within your scene. It, the, the cubes will slow down because they're based upon frame rate. So that is why we use uh, time, delta time. And it's spelled out just like that. Capital time, period. Delta time here, let me so you don't go blind. All right, but since it's time delta time, we have to define a speed or it won't go at all. So that's why speed's out there. So I'm just going to times it by speed, just like that. Okay, save that out and make sure that's attached to my new object which is this one. I'm just going to get rid of this, remove this script, and go and mount my time delta time script down there. And you notice it's a variable, so it sits outside here. I can adjust it all I want without going into the script. That's a real nice feature within Unity. So everything in here, if you kind of look at everything, I mean, uh, let's say this check mark box. Okay, there's a there's a term in there that says turn this on and off, and that's a script. These all have the ability to put check marks in based upon script. Everything in here is scriptable. Everything. 
Okay. So in this case, I made my own integer and that's where it lies. So if I hit play, you're going to see that this one turns a lot slower because it's based upon delta time. So if you really want it to go a little bit faster, I would say, well, 20 times what that really is, we'll start spinning it. But here's the thing. It spins it very nice compared to these. And you can't slow delta time down at all with, I don't care how much dynamics you put into the scene. So it'll always spin at that rate. That's probably important if you're maybe like opening a door. You know, if, if I'm rotating a door open, I probably use time delta time and I probably times it by like a thousand so the door will slam open, which will cover uh, a door code here uh, in one of the later on projects. Probably like project, actually three probably. So this all leads somewhere. All right, now that we have delta time out of the way, let's look at a different way to affect rotation. 